Hello friends, you are watching English with D, the channel with no jargon, only useful information. To continue our eight man's topic wise vocabulary series, we have chosen travel and holiday as a next topic. So in this lesson, you will learn great words related to the topic of travel and holiday. But before we begin, if you are a new viewer, then subscribe to our channel and like and share this video as much as possible. So let's get started. The first word of the day is picturesque. It means a location or a landscape which is very beautiful. In the example, it is said that many movie producers shoot their movies in Kashmir because of its picturesque locations. The next word is excursion. Excursion is like a break, a small trip, which is taken to relieve the stress of daily life. The example also says the same thing that every year I take a small trip in June to relax myself. Exotic destinations. These are those places which are very beautiful and attract a lot of tourists. In the example, Switzerland is said to be the most exotic place on earth where every year millions of tourists visit. Quaint places. Quaint places are those places which are old fashioned and are attractive because of this quality. The villages of Punjab are said to be attractive for tourists because of their traditional nature or quaintness. Breathtaking view. A view which is very beautiful or spectacular is said to be breathtaking view. In the example, it is said that while traveling to Himalayas, many breathtaking views were seen on the way. The next word is ecotourism. This is a new type of tourism in which tourists are encouraged to visit and preserve the places they visit. The example explains that ecotourism is being used by many nations now to negate the harmful effects of human activities which have hampered the environment and wildlife. The next word is all-inclusive. An all-inclusive trip is one in which everything is paid for, including ticket prices, accommodation, meals, and other expenses. The example says, that due to decreasing number of tourists, an all-inclusive trip to Australia is now 50% cheaper as compared to last year. Full board. When you book a full board package with a hotel, then your package includes accommodation as well as all three meals of the day at the hotel. Please. See the example for further clarification. Far off destination. These are places which are very far from main cities and are not visited by many tourists. In the example, it is said that I prefer far off destinations for vacations because these places are less populated, hence more serene or peaceful. The next phrase is long haul flights. This phrase simply means a very long flight. The example makes it clear that people do not prefer 
long haul flights because it can get very tiring. The next word is layover. Layover means a short stop during a journey. It is generally used with long air travels as can be seen from the example that people prefer a layover or a short break in London while traveling from the US to India so that they can relax during this long haul journey. The last phrase of the day is swarming with tourists. Swarming means to be full of, hence swarming with tourists means when a place is full of tourists. As explained in the example that every year in December, Goa is full of or swarmed with tourists. So guys, these were some great words and phrases on the topic of travel and holiday, which you must use in your IELTS writing and speaking to score good bands. We will be back with eight bands vocabulary on another topic very soon. Once again, new viewers, subscribe to our channel and like and share this video. Thanks for watching.